Hey everyone, it's Peter Drew here and welcome to the G-Sites Embedinator video tutorial. Now to see what your sites look like, you just go to my documents, G Sites Embedinator, PDFs, choose one, and there you go. And this is what your sites look like. So if you look down the bottom, you can see the links there to the short URL of your GMB. to the PDF created, embed of the YouTube video, your nap, randomly chosen keyword going to your business site, learn more about random chosen keyword, embed of your business site or the domain that you put in there, random keyword place there, an embed of the PDF created by GMB Dominator software. Each page has three maps. This is one drive to map, another drive to map, and the spider map. Each page has an embed of this spider map. And below here is where your content goes that you enter in the HTML section. So you can have tons more embeds down here and that will be reflected on each page. There you go. So typically before I start a project, I create a text file with all this data in it. This is what you need. The title, which is typically the title that you use to rank your GMB in the GMB itself. This also becomes your project name and it's saved in the software under this project listing. Then you have your main keyword and then you have the related keywords and there are eight of them. We use the related keywords because these are what create the theme for the Google site created. So that means you're getting embeds from a site created with a theme that suits these keywords. These keywords, every time a page is created, the software chooses one of these keywords for a different location on the page, for different anchor texts, etc. as you'll see. Then you have your Google account and password, list of YouTube URLs. Each page has one YouTube video embedded at the top of it. The software chooses one that you enter randomly. So if you have 10 URLs here, it will choose one of those each time it creates a new page. These YouTube videos should be related to the theme of the site that you're creating, which is related to the GMB that you're promoting. So what we've learned over time is that the authority is passed both ways. The embedding this YouTube, as we know, gives passes on like link juice to the video that you are embedding, which helps it rank higher in Google Organic and in YouTube Organic. But conversely, it works the other way as well. If you find a really powerful YouTube video that's got a ton of authority and is ranking in YouTube search, that is also passed back to the Google site. In this process, we're not trying to get these Google sites to rank. What we want is them indexed. So we are telling YouTube how many sites around the world are sending drive to maps back to our GMB. So I'm not looking to pass authority to, so I use YouTube videos that I own that give them embeds every time I run this software to help them perform better in YouTube. Now we need the business site from your GMB, that URL, put that here. If, if for some reason your GMB doesn't have a business site, use uh, the person who owns that GMB, use their business domain name. Now on the last window of the software, 
we have an additional HTML code section where you can put more embeds in there, typically like that. In this example, I've got an embed of a PDF on drive.google.com from a previous project. I'm doing another video, which is an advanced training video where we will be focusing on this point. So that's all the information you need. So I've got a project here using all this data over here. You can uh, delete projects if you like, but typically you go next. Whatever you put up here, this is the main URL created on Google Sites. So I'll change that to And you see that reflected up there. Click Next. Now this is important. In this section of the software, you need to locate the project file created by GMB Dominator Software, which is located just here. So you open up Windows Explorer, go to My Documents, scroll down to Google Route Creator, GMB Files, and there are your project these files. The top results. And these are the project files created. So you can sort them by date to find the most recent. So I've already done that, so click next. This is where your related keywords go. Too easy, click next. So you just add your Google email in there and password and click on add Google account and it pops up here. You can add as many as you like. So here, here is where you put your business site URL. If you don't have a business site, put the main domain related to that GMB. Here is where you put your YouTube URLs. Notice I've put the full URL, not a short one. We need the full path to the full URL in here and not short URLs. And this is the additional HTML section. And this is where we will go into in the advanced training where you can put tons more embeds here. And these all appear at the bottom of each page created on your Google site. Click next. And that's it. So we'll show you, I'll show it working, but I'll speed it up five or 10 times. Okay, so now the software is logging in to drive.google.com with the same Google account used in the software. It's going to upload the PDF that was created containing all the links for that G site just created. It will set the permissions to public and it will pop the PDF up on your desktop once it's completed. So once it's completed, it will pop up this notification window and then the PDF 
looks exactly like this. There are all the links. And here is the embed code we can use in the next session of the G-Sites Embedinator, and then that will embed this PDF on the new site created. Here is a link to the PDF. Actually, here's the iframe here for that PDF, which you can copy and paste directly into the G Sites software. Some other points to go over. So here, the extra tools. For support, click on here. It takes you straight to our support desk. If you need Google accounts, get them here. Our mass blogger software allows you to embed even more content in the HTML section at the end of that. And the same with our WordPress. So if you need more embeds from other strong domains, these two are great. Now these G sites index relatively well by themselves. You can ping them to get them indexed. Or you can go to your webmaster.google.com, log in with that same Gmail account and add it to the sites and that will get it indexed really fast. Or cheap and easy ways, go to Fiverr. Search for GSA links. Here you can get 200,000 GSA links pointing directly to your site for five bucks, 740 Aussie. So for five bucks, I recommend getting that done. And that there are a whole bunch of spammy links, but they go directly to the Google site and do not interfere with the links of the sites inside that G site. So there you have it. If you have any questions, go to Extra Tools, go to Software Discussion Forum and ask me in there. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.